Justin here from LA Space. Today I want to talk about binoculars. Now I know that they say whenever you're starting off in astronomy, get some binoculars. Well, there's a reason they say it. It's actually quite a bit of fun anyway. Even if you have some cheap old, you know, ones from Boy Scouts laying around, still a great place to start. The moon still looks good. Uh, so you don't have to run out and spend a bunch of money. Uh, but over time, if you save up a little money or if you're crafty and you look around on Facebook Marketplace, you can find some really good astronomical binoculars uh, to start using for astronomy. So eventually, whenever you upgrade, you can get some Celestrons or as Ellie has here, some Orions, both fantastic brands for um, astronomy binoculars. Uh, so a couple things to talk about. You don't want to get any that are too overpowered. So stick around eight to 10 power, anything over that. It's going to be really hard to hold them still enough with your hands to appreciate anything that you're going to be looking at. So starting off with some eight. So eight is the magnification. So they're eight times magnification. And then it's by 56. That second number, the 56, is the aperture of the lens and 56 millimeters across. So it lets in more light. So having a bigger aperture allows you to see more uh, fainter objects, if you will. Now we're talking about binoculars, so you're not gonna get anything too crazy with that. Uh, and with your magnification staying down low, you don't need a giant aperture either. Matter of fact, if you go much bigger than this, they're really gonna be too heavy to hold up for a long time comfortably. Now LEs here, these are uh, 10 power by 50. So the aperture is slightly smaller, the magnification is slightly more, but they still produce a fantastic image. And so why are binoculars suggested? Honestly, something that's fun to do with them is just cruise around. You can cruise around in the Milky Way looking around for objects or some of your constellations that have a lot of objects in them. Uh, Scorpius uh, for one, uh, I found a bunch of star clusters in with my binoculars. And it's really fun to find an object and then try to identify that object uh, after the fact. So uh, it can be a little even challenging with some of the objects being so close to one another. Uh, but that is a tremendous amount of fun. And then eventually when you get a telescope, you can use this to find objects and then use the telescope to look at them a little bit closer. Now, if you wanna go bigger or go home, there's bigger ones out there. These are more specialty. So this is the Celestron Skymaster uh, 25. Uh, so it's 25 magnification and the aperture is 100 millimeters. So about four inches across. So it's like having uh, two telescopes uh, strapped to your eyes, really. Uh, you cannot hold these up for very long. They're incredibly heavy. Uh, they will wear your arms out real quick. Uh, they have a specialty mount to put these on a, a specialty tripod that has got a parallelogram built into it um, that actually counterbalances these so that you're not having to hold the weight. So that'll be in a future review. Uh, down the road, we'll talk about these binoculars and the parallelogram mount by Orion called the Monster Mount. Uh, for now, that's it. I hope you'll have dark skies and happy hunting out there. Take care.